Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from Hive and, and welcome, welcome to, to Floss Tube. Tube. It's weird to be by yourselves. It is weird. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if you have not watched it yet, stop this video, head over to um, Ale and Ada's Floss Tube video and we filmed our 24 hour journey. And we all sat here and the boys sat behind. Well, we, we all sat. It up. Yeah, we did switch it up quite a bit. And so we all sat right here and gave you hourly updates. And um, it was really fun. Whew. It was a long journey for sure. But we had a ton of fun with it. Yes. And we'll talk more about it um, throughout the episode. Yes. So we went to the apple orchard today. Because the apple orchard we went to was completely outside. And yes. so we wanted to make sure that we were able to be socially distant and as careful as we could be. We went, we went mudding in our minivan. Oh, guys. It was awful. It was awful. First of all, in Indiana, we have had a lot of frost very early. Um, in Kill. our particular part of Indiana. And it really killed a lot of the crop um, in several different avenues. And apples is one of those. Mm -hmm. So, the orchard that we went to, we can typically drive down each row. And the kids can pick apples and have a grand time. And there's literally nothing on the trees to pick. Nothing. Um, you couldn't even like... Yes. Even their pumpkins. They usually have a yard full of pumpkins because we go to a private orchard. They oh. have hundreds of them typically. And... Thanks, 2020. Yeah. And so they did not have very many. So that was a bummer. But it was so good with this. Uh, we still got to go. It's kind of rainy here. So it's chillier than normal. It was a bit moist. We got apple cider. We did buy apples they, that were already picked. Um, two half uh, pecks, right? Of, uh, two half pecks. One of Gra of Crispin and one of Evercrisp. Yep. And so uh, we'll have apple crisp this weekend. Some and, cabla. Um, some other things. So, yes, it was cool. for me. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, we got apple cider because we there's a distillery not far from here that does cinnamon vodka. And um, we have guests coming this weekend. And I thought, how yummy would it be for one of our guests to have... Apple cider, apple cider and cinnamon vodka. I will not be partaking in that because nope. of cinnamon. No. Nope. But it'll be fun. So, okay, so I want to talk about this very first. This is our giveaway from last week. This is votes for women from the Nevy Needle. We ask you to use the word fall. And our giveaway winner was Rachel Lasky. And so if you could email us. Um, the email will be in the description box, then we will get this mailed out to you so you can start stitching that. This week would be a fantastic time. We also like sweater weather. We also love sweater weather. <laughs> love it. So. Sweater weather. So today congrats, was a very Rachel. good sweater weather day. Yes. So congrats, Rachel, so. on that. Yes. Uh, Miss Lasky. And uh, we yeah, will be sending fun. that out to you soon. Yes. And if you were a part of our Instagram lives over the weekend... Your giveaways that you won, um, if you won a giveaway, will be going out this week as well, hopefully. If not this week, the beginning of next week. I know that so. on Ale and Ada's channel, they were working on the word grits. Yes. Um, and it was funny because, uh, you know, Chris and I volunteered to take the kids home today. And he's like, why is everyone talking about grits? I'm like, Chris. Oh, when he was reading the comments? Yeah, I'm like, Chris, it's because it's the word. Yes. So we probably won't have a very long episode for you today because everything we're going to show today, mm -hmm. we showed you in our 24 hour video. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on it. No. And we just have a little bit of haul mm -hmm. to show. So with that being said, let's I say that in. to say this. I say all of that to say this. Cool. We're going to go on whips. Mm -hmm. um, I show one, you show one. I would love that. Okay. So my very first whip, and I do not have the picture here with me. But I showed it to you last week uh, that I was going to start it because I was so excited about it. Our friend and yours, Bart, Park Hopper Bart, we call this the Bart Start. The Bart Start, hashtag Bart he Start. He created a wonderful little pattern for us. And so I worked on that this week. Uh, this is the side border. I've got to put the leaves in. And then there's um, some other motif and words that say 50 stitches a new start doth make. So go ahead and, you know, take a pause on this. Get on your Instagram. Yes. He's Park giving Hopper, it away to you for free. Park so. Hopper Bart, wonderful gent. Um, yes. Just very creative guy all around, and uh, we're very happy to to have this pattern. Yes. So, hi, Bart, if you're So, watching. last week I asked you to vote what fabric I should do. I ended up going with the 40 count color in cotton. Does your 53 know? And so, I know. Um, so, I went with that, and it's turning out really well. I really like it. So. Yes. 
It was really good to see. Oh. All right. Next. Next. Uh, I am like not prepared. I'm so sorry. Fresh farm eggs. Oh, he says it wrong on <laughs> purpose every time. Farm fresh eggs from Misty at Luminous Fiber Arts. Hi, Misty. And look at that, beaut. Got the almost the outline of the burn right there. It took me uh, five hours to get that. So, and spoiler, I actually started it during Mania and haven't touched it since. So, really love this design and just thought I'd touch it for five hours. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yep. I really like it. So, I worked on uh, Coming to America for 12 hours of our 24 what? hours. And so, I did finish the Mayflower and all the motif at the top. You can't see it now because it's folded. There we go. So I am actually, there are calls for a bunch of seagulls up here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to rechart and do something different. And so once I got all of that completed, then I moved down and I'm almost done with the names and I'll have a page finish after that and be on to my last page. It was very entertaining when she was calling out the names for yes. on board. So like today just... I was stitching on this a little bit and I was like, oh, Alice Rigdale, she's on board. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. That was funny. All right, and if uh, if you haven't heard it or haven't checked it out yet, it hasn't been a project unless I've restarted it. Um, I was plagued with the restarts. I was, man, I was in this one, and then I'm like, what was this one? This is Stairway to Ah. Stairway Ooh, to Ooh. Good night, Stairway to Ooh. From Teresa Koga's book. Yes, a that beautiful she pattern. At market. And now I had to restart it, and I'm now right here, part of a window. So I, I'm kind of disappointed. I spent a lot of time on this and I'm like, yeah. guys, I have to, I was remodeling is what I kept saying. And I'm like, I, there is no point of remodeling at this point. Yeah. So, so you switched to 40 count. Yep. 40 count. Are you loving 40 count? One over one. Stitches are great. One over two. That two? Yeah. One over two. One over two. So, uh, yeah, we'll put that away for a while. Sure. This is what you get. Um, this next one, I can't show you my progress on, but I can show you theirs. Uh, so we, Chelsea and Chris, um, and they're in our 24 hour video talked about how they found this pattern, but they went to a stitch shop that's not far from us, uh, just north of Indy. And, um, so they went to this shop and she found this beautiful little pattern in the clearance section that uh, talks about the love of stitching is our common thread. And she thought, wow, that would be really great for each one of us to have at our houses. Yep. So all four of us are stitching on both patterns. Thread work primitives. And this is a thread work primitives. And I don't have the cover photo with me right here, but that is the stitching that Chris and Chelsea did while uh, during our 24 hours. So we went ahead and switched uh, pieces so that Nathan and I could both stitch on that for a little bit. Yep, so it was nice. She bought us those patterns and they're, I love it. It's really, really pretty. All right. We've got last but not least, uh, the squirrels. Squirrels. Squirrels of Sinatra. I'm joking. It's squirrels of Sumatra, but I think it, do I have the front cover? From, um, yeah, it should be in here. Nope. It's not in here. Oh, there you there go. There it is. It's upside down. Oh, sorry. No, it wasn't. Nope. Sorry. So this is an ink circles pattern. So I actually made progress on this uh, after 24 hours. Where and are you at here? Up top here? left. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look and at that. This is on 40 count. And this is on 40 count, one over two. Uh, swamp water. Uh, if you haven't touched swamp water, uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous floss. So he's up here. I'm right there. So I would like to get this done this weekend and work on the flower. Um, but I absolutely, this was an early Christmas gift from my beloved and I absolutely love this piece. So Beautiful. that's what I have. Cool. What you have? I have two more. So uh, I worked a little bit on this and then I put it in jail. So I will explain that. Uh, so this is the, let me get up. Plum Street and Plum Street and Heart, Heartstring Samplery's mashup. So I've already done the other half. This is this half. Um, but I needed a little bit of work here. So I needed to finish this corner down here. I just had a little bit of stitching there. And then there is a whole line up here, a whole border of a white motif. And this is old Weeks Dye Works fabric. So it's extremely loose 40 count. And we do only use one thread. 
uh, which is fine, except for when it comes to white. And I just cannot get my stitches to lay right. And I, I piddled around with this for two hours, hours of 24 hours and thought, nope, this isn't going to happen for me. So, and I had ripped it out several times. So I text Seth about one o'clock in the morning and I was like, dude, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't understand this fabric. It's a fabric issue, not a floss issue. And so I put it away and I thought, you know what? I need to move to something yes. enjoyable. That is enjoyable, but I needed to move to something that like I could just stitch. Wasn't worried about how it's laying down. Yes. And so I started Prairie Schoolers oh, Bump in the Night. Beautiful piece. Oh, I love it so, so much. I showed you guys this last week in haul. Um, it's gorgeous. It's I love it so gorgeous. much. And so I pulled out a 40 count for this. Um, That's why does it go? Is it 40 count or is it 50? It's 40 count. And so is I your put 53 now? I started a good border section there. So I did finish. This is uh, as wide as the pattern is. And so um, now I just have to go back and check her board. It's very that interesting that you started with the border because you're not a border gal. I'm not a border person. I'm not a border start person. So I really actually like to start. I start everywhere in different places. Yeah. But yep. Yeah. So that was our whips this week. Yeah. Super excited. A lot of progress. A lot of uh, fellowship. So much fun. So much fun. The kids do extremely well. Mm -hmm. And I have to hand it to the women. Um, they did all the planning. They set everything up. And all I, we had to do, Chris and I, just had to show up and, you know, be parents. Yes. And that was um, that was awesome. So thank you and Chelsea for uh, making that happen because yeah. we failed a couple times and we know what to bounce back from. So yeah. I enjoy it. I think this is going to be a biannual thing for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting old. You know, in my old age, just, just can't do it. In our video, we talked about uh, the official 24 hours. The next round is November 6th through the 8th. So if you've been on the fence about it, um, go watch Jen Lee's channel. She is Quirks and Stitches. She discusses 24 hours. I'm sure maybe this week she'll put out a floss tube video about mm -hmm. what, you know, just kind of go overing if you're new, go overing, going over the, uh, not, I, I say rules. They're There's not no rules. rules. Um, but what she has kind of set up as their 24 hours. And so, it's like um, an outline of if anything. Yes. It's like an outline. And so there is an official one, November 6th through the 8th. We just did it this weekend as a kickoff to the guy's vacation. Um, and it's been a wonderful vacation already. So the invitation is out there to Chris and Chelsea to do a second one. I think, um, they may, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We've invited them. Uh, Chris, I know was definitely like, mm, I'm good. If there's no pressure, I'll just sit and stitch. I'll feed the kids. I'll do all of that stuff. If you girls want to partake in another Absolutely. round. So, um, we'll see if that happens. It's just a little over a week now from that. So we'll see if it happens. It's really fun. Our kids really enjoyed it too. And that is the most important thing to me that they don't feel like we're taking time away from them or that we we're doing things and not spending time with them. So yeah, because the last couple of times we had to stop just because we're like, yeah, this isn't yep. right for them and just things just happen. So, yeah. um, you know, kids first and, yeah. and they loved it and that's all that matters. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to talk about that? This little gym, this one right here. I, you set it out. So I assumed you wanted to talk about I wanted about to talk it. about it. So look, look, Marvel, be jealous. Don't be jealous. That's ugly. Don't jealous. Don't be jealous. So look at this. My amazing wife made this for me. How cool is that? It's this a project, project bag. bag. Just a project bag. She just whipped it up. So this comes from a line of fabric that is called Hocus Pocus. Um, and so, and then on the back, it's all candy. Look at that. Super cute. And then on the inside is just a matching. Just awesome. I just want to brag about it. Thank is that you. cool? I appreciate that. That was, I set it out. I didn't yes. want you to see it, but apparently you saw it. Uh, there were several pieces in there. Um, like it, it came as a quilt panel. So once a trick or treat, there were some that had the three of the witch's boots. And it says, if the shoe fits, uh, there was a camper in there, which isn't Hocus Pocus themed, but it was Halloween themed. Yep. And so I made one up and gave it to Chelsea. Super cute things. Yep. So awesome. Okay. Let's talk about a little bit of haul. So I have a little bit of haul from a super fun, amazing shop. 
uh, called Rebel Stitcher Designs on Etsy. Uh, it is our friend and yours, Colleen, who is Moon Pie Fry on Instagram. And she is just phenomenal. We um, have bought a couple when we when I've been at Keepsakes. We bet, bought a couple of her needle minders and I just love them. They're so quirky and fun and she just does like such a great job. So I had ordered some that I cannot show you because they are gifts. Uh, but I had ordered some. And she sent me one because she is so thoughtful and she asked Steph what my favorite Christmas movie was. And Steph, of course, knew it. Uh, and so she sent me a Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color, <laughs> needle minder. And of course, we had to watch it. So, so yes, during 24 Hours of Cross Stitch, and I say this in our video, during 24 Hours of Cross Stitch, I, I said my one ask mm -hmm. is that at some point during this 24 hours that we watch a Christmas movie. So on Sunday, we did that. Yep. And so I just love this needle minder. So let me show you Colleen's card. This, um, so you guys can take a screenshot if you want. Just Head over to her Etsy shop. She has some fun and quirky needle minders. She also, I watched her video this week, she added some fun and quirky scissors as well, which are super cute. And she is, and, and she's one of those people, guys, that uh, there's no front, there's no face, there isn't like when the camera's on, she's a total different person. She's who she is. She's, she's so who fun. she is, and she's a wonderful gal. Yeah. So thank you very much, Colleen. She's a fun, fun lady. So. All right, and then we got a little bit of haul. Sorry, it's gonna be a little crinkly for a moment because I did not prepare and take this out of the package. While you're doing that, I'm doing this. Sure. Okay, so I decided uh, after seeing just some buzz on Instagram, stitching with some fabric, uh, my coming to America is on a bee stitch me fabric, um, and I just love it so, so much. The one that saved the project. The one that saved the project. I decided, you know, I really like this fabric. So let's do a monthly club. And so B Stitch Me does a monthly fabric club and you can choose your count up to 46. And so I chose to do, I'm doing one month of color and one month of neutral. And so this month we got a 46 count of... Um, it's called Escape. Escape. Look how beautiful this piece of fabric is, guys. Here, I'll hold one on that. Is that not so pretty? That's gorgeous. And this, it's reading pretty true to color yes, the way you're is. seeing it, which is awesome. So I really, really like it. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. It needs something amazing. So, so this is also a great opportunity to build up your stash. Yes. Um, again, if you... I've been with us for a while. Mania was mm -hmm. really made, was basically pulled from stash. Yep. Um, and these are the things that we like to do throughout the year. So we're not panicking when we get to a major, yeah. uh, like monthly like mania. Yeah. Uh, or in the middle of the 24 hours when I'm like, I need a new start. I yep. can just go and pull fabric for a new start. And it's very convenient and it's well-priced. Yes. It is very, very, I, comparably priced yes. to other ones. Uh-huh. Um, and then she offers an add-on that you can do that is a silk hand-dyed um, club, and you get 10 yards of silk. Oh, really? And so uh, this one is called All Lit Up. It's a really, when I hold it back here, it's a pretty true to color. So it's a gorgeous hand-dyed orange. That. that one's called Poison. Poison. Yep, so if you hold oh. it back here, it's a little Oh, there you go, it focuses. Yeah. It's a good or Sarah color. would do. She would cover her face, right? From Lord and Lady from Stitchshire. And right here, this is called Evil Queen. Mm -hmm. There we go. Tombstone. Mm -hmm. That's actually a pretty cool color. It's like a beigey purple. Like I a hazy it. gray. And then you've got Cauldron, which is your, going to be your black. Not so pretty. That's awesome. Yeah. And so uh, we are now starting to get the um, the Fabric of the Month Club from Bee Stitch Me. We're doing 46 count each time. And uh, then we're doing, we're adding on the five silk of the month. So that's what they all look like together. That's fantastic. Yeah. So pretty. I love it so much. Such a good Halloween. Actually, layer. that, that those silks would go well with that fabric. Yeah. Yeah. So like here, that, that is actually a good floss toss that you just did. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. Something super fun on there. Love it. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. What are doing? So I have this awesome um, embroidery kit, embroidery kit from Avlia. Krista West. 
Krista West. She is a phenomenal independent designer. And she came out with these embroidery kits uh, about six months ago, I would say. And it comes with everything you need in here except for the little easel. Um, but everything you need to do this, they are pre pin pre, oh my goodness, they are pre printed on the cloth. And then the kit contains, um, it's a hundred percent Kona cotton marked with the design that you need. And then DMC floss that you need a hoop, a John James needle, and then instructions. This would be a good gift for someone that's starting out. Yeah. So yeah. It's definitely be... not cross stitch, but it is embroidery. Yep. Now she does both. She has cross stitch designs that we know and love. And you guys have seen us stitch them, which I need to pull some of those out. Cause there's some that I wanted for Christmas decor. So, okay. um, but she also has these embroidery kits, which is awesome. If you're looking for a good Christmas gift. Like this is a phenomenal little stocking stuffer or even just a gift if you needed something for someone who would like to have some sort of Maybe stitching. Maybe on the fence. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is super fun. So I would love for you to use the name Avlia um, in your comment and tell us what you would do with this and how you would stitch this. And we'll pick a winner next week when we film. Fantastic. Yeah. What a great idea. Super fun. Awesome. Super fun. Okay, so plans for this week. Oh man, we've got some major plans this week. Yeah. Uh, we're stitching. We are stitching. We've got some wonderful guests coming in town. So excited. Um, and we're gonna eat and we're gonna just be around each other and we're mm -hmm. gonna be great and it's gonna just be a, just a great time. Yeah. So, and then we've yeah. got more people coming. Yes. So we have uh, Pam and Steph coming. Mm -hmm. They will be here at around noon tomorrow. I'm so excited. And they'll stay and hang out until Sunday. Uh, now we are extremely careful with like COVID and everything with social distancing and everything like that. And so, um, we are so excited to see them because we know they are being as careful as we are and have our family's heart, uh, on theirs. And so we're so excited to spend the weekend with them and hang out and stitch a ton and, um, have some good laughs, very much looking forward to it. And Nathan always cooks us amazing food you know I while dabble. they are here and so um yeah i'm looking forward to it we're having we're i'm deeming this a hocus pocus retreat so wow they will have to find out next week so if you are on uh if you follow me on instagram mm -hmm. be prepared for all the uh the dinner picks mm -hmm. um then i will probably be prepping and things like that yeah and uh yeah i just like to share cooking yeah i do so you guys will probably see our floss soup. So our 24 hours of cross stitch video posted today, mm -hmm. which is Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, it posted today on Ale and Ada's floss tube channel. So you can head over there. We had an Instagram or two Instagram lives, one Friday night and one Saturday night. Super fun. Oh yeah. Um, the people there that were there, we had 112 at one point on Friday. Uh, I forgot to look at, yeah. it gives you like a graph at the end. I forgot to look at how many we had on Saturday night. But on Saturday night, they gave Chelsea a fantastic idea to do some baking. Uh, she is really, really phenomenal bread baker. And so uh, lots of people had questions about sourdough starters and all of that. So she's your gal if you need to know. She that. is, yes, 100% your gal. So, um, so head over there and watch that video. You'll see this floss tube right now on Thursday. And then look on Friday for a video where I unbox Creative Notions quilting box this month. Um, if you're into quilting, it is a phenomenal box that is uh, hand-picked and handmade and uh, by a wonderful lady named Vicki who takes a ton of time meticulously putting a subscription box together. She definitely put her heart her heart in these projects, yes. in, these, in these packages. Like it's, I saw a little bit today and I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. It's amazing. So it's amazing. look for that on Friday from our channel. All right. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful week and we will see you later. Bye.